What is going on to you, Gemini? So, you Geminis have got the Empress, Ten of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Pentacles, the Magician, which is ruled by Mercury. Then you have the Devil, the Fool, right? And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. So for you, Geminis, the Empress, the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, right? So for you, Geminis, a lot of you, Geminis, um, you very much so have people around this time who think that they're very much so better than you. They are interested in thinking that they don't need you and that they're better off without you. And that to them, you Geminis, to them, you Geminis are trash. So now a lot of you Geminis, they went out of their way to try to, to make you look real stupid. So the 10 of wands represents you Geminis taking that lesson and you're walking off with it. Like, okay, all right, right? You may feel a little bit down, right? Sad, obviously, right? Or I should say melancholy because a person that you would have put your time and energy into, they went out of their way to try to play you out, make it seem like you wasn't worth anything. And I understand that may feel terrible, but then the uh, nine of pentacles represents how, but at the same time though, You still have a lot to learn because a lot of you Geminis have to understand that, you know, when a person who is dysfunctional, you end up breaking up with a person or a person and, and who is dysfunctional and you don't really end up working out. That really is a blessing in disguise. They, this person really did you a favor. They really did because that's their own unique, stupid way of showing you that they don't. That's, that's their own backwards dysfunctional way of trying to be honorable by telling you that they're dysfunctional and dishonorable, right? Generally speaking. So they did you, they actually did you a favor by telling you to get up on out of there or not taking you too seriously because they didn't really want to mess up your, your, your life. They didn't really want to mess that up. Right. And dealing with people who are like that, <clears throat> you got to understand that it, 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 you know, they only deal with right people who are dysfunctional in this reading. Right. As the example here, they really only deal with dysfunctional people because the mentality is devil may care. Right. Like who cares at the end of the day? Because it's all downhill for them anyway. Their lives are trash. They won't change their ways. The quality of the people that they choose to be with in a relationship is trash. So it's just all downhill from here anyway. So to them, it's like, I might, as well, I might as well enjoy my life and see how much I can actually keep up before I go completely down into the dumpster, right? And for you, Geminis, they really did you a favor. So if there's anybody that was giving you a difficult time that, you know, played you out, tried to make it seem like you were trash. At Yes, it may hurt because you, you may have really liked them. But at the same time, understand that even though you like them, you kind of have to give yourself a pat on the back. You also have to just kind of let them know, thank you, because in that sense, because they really did do you a favor. The Nine of Pentacles, when you realize how much it is that you would have lost, from hanging out with them, I guarantee you, Geminis, if you're not already doing it, you will realize just how lucky you actually got. The Five of Wands represents because they're going to be doing this with their partner. They're going to be bickering and fighting. They're going to be getting on the other person's nerves and the other person is going to be getting on their nerves. To them, what, they're think, what they think is a relationship, a marriage, a uh, uh, a relationship, right? A committed relationship, a marriage, whatever you want to call it, is two people, right? 
starting with each other, being dysfunctional, trying to undermine each other, being disrespectful to each other, right? R playing all these stupid pranks on each other that becomes more and more disrespectful. The Wheel of Fortune now represents, but luckily you Geminis made it out. <laughs> luckily you Geminis done made it on out. So for you, you don't even worry about that type of stuff, right? You shouldn't worry about that type of stuff because for you, you're better off than that. That's that's not your boat. See, a lot of times too, and this is something that 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 I, I've known for a while, but it's time for me to actually speak on it because it's an opportunity to, right? It'll give you a real good lesson, real knowledge, right? A lot of times what happens is, is that when they say you are what it is that you attract, see, that's, that's again, showing and proving it. That's BS. If you are what it is that you are attracting, why is it, you Geminis have to ask yourself, if if that's who you are and that's what it is that you are attracting, why is it that it, that that type of relationship, those type of relationships don't work out for you if that's what it is that you are attracting? See, this is what I'm talking about. If a relationship, if 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 the if you could say that you are what it is that you are attracting, why is it that the dysfunctional type of relationships don't work for you? If you can't seem to get in them for a very long period of time, it's because those relationships are not built for you is why. They're not built for me. They're not built for you. That's the reason why it is <clears throat> that you can't get yourself into those types of relationships. No matter what it is that you try, it just never seems to be able to work out because that's not the quality of the relationships that you are. But you'll put yourself excuse me, in damaging situations because you're trying to fit a shape into a hole of a shape that just does not fit. So the thing about it is that the the page of pentacles represents, so you got to understand just like it is that they say water seeks its own level. So you got to figure out where exactly do you fit in. Page of, of pentacles and a magician represents your, you've been, you uh, Geminis have been interacting with people who are who are coming from lower grade than you they're lower grade than you these are people who are dumb can they can't understand the type of stuff what they can't understand what you're talking about right you gemini's have minds on you they can't understand what you're talking about there's dumb people in every zodiac sign okay there's dumb virgos okay there's virgos who in all intents and purposes could have chosen to be uh, smart, but guess what? They'd rather have fun and be a gigolo. They'd rather have fun, be a shyster. They'd rather have fun, be a complete liar. They'd rather have fun, cheat on everybody who they with. You understand what I'm saying? So you're, you're dealing with people who are dumb. They don't have a lot of honor like that, right? The good things that they do for you, you kind of have to, you kind of, yes, they help you out, to a certain extent, but then they got to do something bad to you. They have to be disrespectful to. It's like it's like they're they're just they're in odds with themselves. It did, the magician represents those are the quality of the type of people that you've been engaging with. Here you are, Page of Pentacles. You're being a learned person. You're being a person that has learned from your mistakes. Trying to be more upright. You're trying to you understand what I'm saying? You're trying to be more proper. You're trying to carry yourself with some self-respect, at least while you're here. And here they are trying to be a magician, right? They're trying to be a Virgo in that sense. They're trying to be a magician or a Gemini. They're trying to be that. They're trying to be a trickster. They're trying to pull the wool over your eyes, trying to make you seem like you don't see what you see and create an optical illusion. And that's where the devil is. The devil is you, you mean because you're getting into a relationship with a person that can give you a little bit, but then they got to do something bad and that they're duplicitous. One minute they're good, the next minute they're bad, right? And it's not a matter of good and bad. It's a matter of one minute they're trustworthy because they'll do anything for you. But then at the same time, it's like, then they got to do something outstandingly disrespectful and 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 downright dishonorable to you and it's like how is it on one hand you doing this but then on the other hand you doing this you only listen to me when it comes to the dysfunctional stuff 
but you won't listen to me when it comes to the functional stuff. So you, and these are people who will be willing to make the transition for you. You know what I mean? I really think that at the end of the day, but you can't stay in a relationship with them because it's too much of a roller coaster. So the fool and the eight of pentacles represent, so you got to get away from those type of people. If you haven't done it already, and the eight of pent eight of pentacles, concentrate. You Gemini's need to concentrate on yourself and the things that you need to actually work on. So let's clarify the eight of pentacles. Yeah, like you have to be aware once you get the magician and the devil, because this represents the the illusion that people have been giving to you that. You've been stuck in. So this one person, I say people to kind of clarify it for you, Gemini's in general. But I mean like, yes, people in general, the ones that you have met in the past, the ones that you may know now, and the ones that you may know in the future, but also person individually, right? Where if you get the when you get the magician and the devil, it it really does represent right this person being not what it is that they seem at first. They seem to be amazing at first, but in actuality, these are people who was putting on a front to become attractive for a moment. Then when you get invested, now it's like, oh, good. So let's clarify the uh, Eight of Pentacles. To clarify the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Page of Swords, Queen of Cups, the Devil, see? The Knight of Wands, right. The Page of Swords represents and to hang out with those people, like I said, it's detrimental to yourself. And this is what it means when they say water seeks its own level, right? You are what it is that you are attracting. I don't even think those people on one level mean that you deserve it. I think on another level, if, you, if we're really going deep in the rabbit hole, they're really trying to say, you're not that quality of person. So of course it didn't work out because it's not working out for you because that's not where it is that you are. You're somewhere higher up on a totem pole, right? And and that's but of course that's their backwards way of delivering it to you because they're the devil in that regard. So you can't allow, this is why you need to check your ego. Because you'll be thinking to your you'll be thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, this person is wilding out and this person doesn't understand. And meanwhile, to a certain extent, this person does understand, but what they, right? And what they do understand is you and a person who's dysfunctional don't belong with each other. And that's what it is that they could be meaning. So you, so you could take it either way. So the queen of cups and the devil now is about how, since that's the case, the queen of cups and the devil is, um, so you have to not Put your ego into it right this is the either those two cards right here are the either ways you could take it right like you could take it gracefully right right in a sense that you need to walk away from this and understand what it truly means when it said water seeks its own level work on yourself work to be better well off within yourself but then at the same time right don't allow people to disrespect you walk away when it's time for you to walk away right? Or the devil. You could stay in this relationship or the other choices, you can stay in a relationship and deal with them. The Knight of Wands is about how, but just remember that when you decide this, this is what it is, right? Like when you make a conscious choice, when you decide to live your life like this, you've chosen the quality of the person that you are. You will either become, the Knight of Wands represents, you'll either become like a warrior because that's what a knight is, right? A warrior, right? In a sense that you will carry yourself with self-respect, right? Chivalry, self-respect. Because chivalry has way more to do than just how you treat another person. Chivalry also represents how you treat yourself too. That's why they call you a gentleman, right? But anyway, and that's, that's some old medieval stuff. The point is, is that, or you could be a person that chooses to be a peasant that gets treated like one. 